why X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy is a surface sensitive technique. This is XPS spectrum. These two peaks are photoelectron peaks and this peak is OJ electron peaks. All these three peaks comes from this very very thin region around 10 nanometer region. The question is why we do not get photoelectrons from this deep region from the thicker region about micrometer thick regions. The answer is very very simple. Let's briefly explain what is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. In this techniques photon from X-ray strike the core electron and the electron ejects. These electrons are called photoelectrons. We are only interested in the kinetic energy of these electrons. The X-ray completely converts its energy to these electrons. This is why I keep the same color here for the photon energy and for the kinetic energy of the electrons. These three equations are very very famous in the same equations. In this case, this photon energy is equivalent to the binding energy of the electron, the kinetic energy of the photoelectron, and this is the work function of the spectrometer, a constant field. But we are only interested in the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons. And how we find this kinetic energy? The XPS detector, not me, the XPS detector gives this kinetic energy. So once we get this kinetic energy from the XPS detector, then we can find the binding energy. How? We know this is the photon energy, constant value. This is the spectrometer work function, constant value. And the kinetic energy we get from the XPS detector. So we can calculate the binding energy, which acts just like a fingerprint for every element. Because every element has a unique binding energy. And it also reveals about the chemical environment of the elements. The oxidation state, whether the electrons added to the atom or removed whether the atoms, the elements making bond with other similar elements or different elements. So this binding energy is very, very crucial to understand the, the, the behavior or the environment of the elements on the surface or near the surface. In XPS, the photon from X-ray source produce electrons. And here we just give names to three different electrons produced in three different regions. Here, if you look into the thicker region electrons, here these electrons make a lot of inelastic scatterings. Why? Because the path length for the photoelectrons are very, very small than the path length for the photons. So electron loss most of its kinetic energy in these electrons are not capable to reach the photodetector and we do not have peaks from this thick deep regions. Now let's consider in the case of B here. The same, same X-ray produced this B electron in this region, but this B type of electron make one or two inelastic collisions and because of that it lost some of its kinetic energy. It lost some of its kinetic energy, but it reached the XPS detector, but the peak do not appear. Because of this B electron, we have the background in this peak here, in this background. Because this background has some sort of electron count here, you see. And where this electron comes from? The XPS detect electrons, but with less kinetic energy, and that is not that important. Now, let's come to this region, around 10 nanometer or less than 10 nanometer. About 95% of photoelectrons originated from this thin regions. This is from Beer's uh, law calculations. The 95% electrons are very, very important electrons. And it comes from this region. And this peaks comes because of these 95% electrons. Now, this A-type electrons do not make inelastic collision. When we see the inelastic collision, this means loss of kinetic energy. Loss of kinetic energy. But these A electrons do not make inelastic collisions and it reached to the XPX detector with the exact kinetic energy. And this X-ray photon energy is completely converted to these electrons kinetic energy and the XPX detect uh, these electrons in the form of photoelectron and OJ electrons and here we have these peaks in the XPX spectrum. 
look at here a uh, surface sensitivity basically means that how deep photoelectrons can be generated once we generate the photoelectrons now the second target is to uh, escape it from the sample and whether it will escape or not it depends on the uh, the thickness here but the surface sensitivity basically means that how deep photoelectron can be generated and can be capable to escape them from the sample without inelastic scattering so if we have no inelastic scatterings and we generate photoelectrons we will get peaks in xps but if we have inelastic scatterings there will be no peaks in the xps spectrum this is a simple philosophy here is i explained this that 95 percent photoelectrons comes from this thin region this is why xps is a surface sensitive techniques the second important thing is why this deep electron loss its kinetic energy this is due to the path length the path length of electrons are very very small and this is why at deep level it lost all of its energy and they cannot reach to the xps detector